Being the only special force elite unit in Kenya Air Force, Rapid Deployment Squadron was going to help in the formulation of new strategies to counter new security challenges in disaster situations when called upon. Also, the need to have the squadron created was necessitated when search and rescue plans for maritime patrols were being worked out during the 2005 and piracy operations in the Indian Ocean. KDF in the annual publication revealed that Kenya Air Force was conducting deep search surveillance and search and rescue plans that required rapid response capability. Then military operations commenced in Somalia in 2011. This is where the formation of the unit became inevitable, as part of the force that would complement combat search and rescue efforts for the operation. RDU's initial training started both locally and overseas in 2006 as part of capacity building initiative towards the formation of the unit. Currently, the unit exists as Rapid Deployment Squadron. According to Kenya Defense Forces, Rapid Deployment Squadron trains in many locations in Kenya, head abroad. KDF's website further reveals that Training type and location is determined by the nature of the skills to be impacted. In Kenya, there is no single location where all these skills are trained. Other trainings are gently done with other units of sister services such as Kenya Special Forces and the Rangers of the Kenya Army and the sailors from the Kenya Navy. According to a senior officer, whom we cannot name for security reasons, told us, apart from calling personnel recovery, combat search and rescue, the unit also performs an array of missions. This includes support to security personnel at vibrations, carry out special operations in deep enemy territories, and counter-terrorism missions such as close quarter combat, room and building clearance, bomb detonation, among others. Equipment Being in its early formative stages, ADF says that RDS continue to be equipped with modern equipment. Currently, it has a variety of equipment such as medium lift transport aircraft, combat support helicopters, Armored personnel carriers, zodiac boots, mountaineering gear, tactical ground radars, assorted array of communication equipment, and assorted light weapons. Thanks, guys. That is all for today. Don't forget to subscribe. That means in the next video.